All right, folks, we have a really nice chair here. We have a, I've never had the type of chair like this over here. It's a, it's a Jazzy J4, J4 power chair, okay? So this power chair here has a top speed of five miles an hour. It was used for about a month. It's practically brand spanking new. The seat on this chair is 20 by 20. We're not gonna change the seat because it's a, it's a custom seat. It cannot be changed. So if you're gonna buy this chair, uh, we cannot change the seat. So, you, so if you're five feet tall, it's gonna to be too big for you. So, but if you're six foot tall or 5'11", 5'10", or six foot one, six foot two, this will work, okay? So this chair has two functions. As I said, it's practically brand new, it's a J4. The, it has electric tilt and electric feet. So all the function has to be work through the joystick. So you would go to the blue button, push it until you see a picture of the seat. When you see a picture of the seat, move your joystick sideways. Whatever is black on the seat, right now we have the base, the bottom is black and the back is black. Now I can just push the joystick back and there goes what's called the electric tilt. This is the base right here, it's going back. It's going to take the feet, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is called the electric tilt. And we'll see how far back that's going to go. Okay, now we're going to do the feet. I'm going to move the joy this joystick sideways until it's black just on the feet. Then I'm going to move this down and you can see the legs are going up. If you're five feet tall or you're six foot tall, we can adjust these feet. Okay, we can adjust them by these two bolts right here. We can pull these bars out and adjust them for your height and weight. So if you wanted some good circulation, this would be a little extreme, but you could go halfway down and still have good circulation. So I'm gonna bring the seat halfway down. So this is gonna be... <clears throat> so even here, more than halfway down, your feet are still higher than your body, okay? So I'm gonna bring it all the way back down. And I'm gonna to go to the feet, and I'm gonna bring those down. So if you're outside, make sure your feet are out a little bit, it gives you more clearance. You don't wanna to be too close to the floor. So right now we bring the feet down. And this one has a lot of clearance already, so you don't have, you're not gonna to have to worry about that. And another thing I need to mention about this chair, okay? As I'm looking at it right now. So the seat, just to give you Okay, so the seat is all the way down. So now the height of the seat on this chair right now, for some of you, it's at, it's at 23 and a half inches, 23 and a half inches. So that's a little high right here when it's all the way down 23 and a half. But some of you might like that, but don't worry. We can drop this seat down. You can see the poles right here. There's two holes left. We can drop two more inches. So we can bring this seat down to below 22 inches when it's all the way down. So if you're gonna order this chair, and you don't want it so high when it's all the way down, we can lower the whole system by dropping these, these uh, to the next two holes down, okay? Then you'll be at 21 and a half, 22 inches when you're all the way down, which is the standard height, okay? So, the seat on this chair, well, let's look at the base. Let's put it back in drive. So you have 14 inch solid wheels. You have your caster wheels in the back, caster wheels in the front. You have the super good heavy duty anchor point here and here. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. That's a total of four anchor point. This is where you secure your chair to your lift or to your van if you need to transport this chair. You have a, a motor for each wheel has its own independent motor, okay? This chair right now weighs probably 350 pounds. So it's, I'm not gonna be able to lift it or push it because look, it's in gear. But if I turn the power off on the chair, okay? Power off so you have no resistance in the motor. Then you go to the yellow lever, push it down, look at that. Whoop, there goes my wall. You got a motor on this side, you got a motor on the opposite side. You need to turn the, power, the, the lever down on both motors. When you're done, make sure you put it back in gear. You can hear it, it's in gear. Then turn your power back on and you're ready to go again. The suspension on these chairs is just phenomenal. If you look at the back of this chair, Look at this suspension right here. It's all adjustable too. That's for the forks in the back. And you have the same shock, you have two more in front. I don't know if you'll be able to see the front ones, but there's one here and there's one on the opposite side. 
okay? The seat on this chair is 20 by 20. As I was telling you earlier, we're not changing the seat on this chair. It's staying 20 by 20. So, and it's got a large back. You also have with this chair, this chair is loaded with goodies. You also have with this chair flip up arms. So if you want to take the arm out of the way, you could flip it up this way. And if you had to transfer, of course these would come off. Then you could transfer into the chair, okay? These are lateral pads. They go to your knees. And what that does, and they're fully adjustable, you can you put them here and it keeps your feet, your knees from buckling out, and it keeps your feet on the foot plate. Then you tighten them up so there's no play. They're, they're fully adjustable. There's all kinds of adjustments. There's, you can go in, out, this way, this way, all the way into the chair, outside, wherever you need them. And this can be moved. As I said, it's just fully, fully adjustable. So you've got the joystick. And then you put it back in and you lock it, okay? You have a little bag here for your glasses, your wallet. You have a bag on each side. The chair is a mid-wheel drive chair, so it turns around its own length. So if I go in a circle, you can see it turns around in a circle. Now, let's look at the back real quick. Well, the back is pretty straight right now. So if you wanted to have the seat flat, but the back is manual, there's no, there's no way to... You have to physically adjust this back right here. So if you wanted to adjust this back, you would have to do it right here. Let me take the safety belt out of here. You do have a safety belt. So if you want to adjust the back, right here is your adjustment. There's three holes. So if you want this to be more back, more forward, or you could use the tilt and adjust the tilt and drive the chair, like for example. Let me just show you. So let's just say you wanted this back to be a little back further. So you, just, you could do this, okay? And then put your chair back in drive and you can still drive the chair, but now your back is tilted back more where you feel like if that's what you want. But if you want the seat all the way down, let's go back all the way down. But you want your back to go back, you're gonna have to do it manually right here, okay? You do have a safety belt. And when you charge this chair, you'll take your charger and you'll plug it right below your joystick. And as soon as the light goes from orange to green, you're fully charged. The batteries in this chair will take you about 15 miles on a battery charge. That all depends the weight of the user, what kind of person, how you drive it. Now this chair has, has a 300 pound weight capability. So even though it has a big seat of 20 by 20, it would just, in this chair, the seat will stay on here the way it is, okay? We're not changing the seat. So, uh, so if you're looking for a really nice, practically brand new power chair, this is called the Quantum, the Jazzy, J, I'm sorry, it's not a Quantum, it's a Jazzy J4 by Pride Mobility. And the total weight in this chair is 351 pounds. There's a sticker on here. 351 pounds this chair weighs. It's ready to go and it's gorgeous. So this is my J, Jazzy J4 power chair. Top speed is about five miles an hour. This is the one with the electric tilt and the electric legs. As you can see with my knees, with these lateral pads, it's impossible for my foot, it's really impossible for my foot to come up because it's, my knees are buckled out and this is holding me in. But if I didn't have these, I don't know, it would be a lot easier. But with this, it keeps your feet right on the foot plate. Six wheels on the ground at all times, great suspension. So this chair, again, response is really slow. So if you have someone who's skittish, this run responds really slowly. It's like, uh, it's like when you get up in the morning. It doesn't respond very fast, which is good. So this is the J4, Jazzy J4 power chair with electric tilt, electric recline, practically brand new with the knee guards. It has the big seat, which we're not going to change, 20 by 20. Uh, just a nice, just really a nice power chair. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below 
at 800-677-6293, or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.